What's going on guys, Rewind here, and today I just wanted to make a video talking about the possibility of them adding in new guns to Modern Warfare Remastered. Now currently, we the gun selection we have is kinda slim. It's the same thing we had in COD 4, but lately I've just really been feeling like I only use the same 4 or 5 guns, and that I just don't like any of the other guns in the game. The ones that I use are like the M16, the M4s, the Barrett, and I barely even use the MP5. Now, what I think would be really cool is if they added in classic guns from like MW2, MW3, um, maybe even Black Ops 2, if that's not getting too too modern for the game. But, um, I mean, guns that they could add in from MW2 would be like the ACR, the Intervention, which they've already added to um, Infinite Warfare, but I also think it would be really good in this game. Um, the Model 1887 shotguns, because there definitely isn't that big of a selection of shotguns in the game. And also even the SPAS-12. I thought the SPAS-12 was amazing in MW2, and I think it could be really well... Uh, it could do really well in Modern Warfare Remastered. Now the biggest thing with adding new guns into the game is that a lot of people are going to say they're changing the original game, they're going to get really mad, just like everyone always does every time they announce something for the game. Like when they added in the supply drops recently, a lot of people were really mad saying they weren't going to play the game, but in reality, most of the things that they added are all cosmetic, besides like melee weapons, melee weapons, however you say that word. Uh, besides those, they haven't really changed how the game plays. It still plays the same. They're still the same guns. They're just now you can um, you can customize your guns with using various kits. You can there's new camos, new titles and emblems, all sorts of things that just they're just things that look different. They don't actually change the way the game is played. It's still the same base game. Now I think if they added in these guns from like MW2 as an example, I think they would work really well in the game just because I feel like MW2 and COD4, they were kind of the same game. MW2 was just, you know, a, another step further in the way we could do things, the way multiplayer was played, and just the way things were in general. So I think guns like the ACR, um, the Intervention, the SPAS-12, the models, I think they could work in COD4 because COD4 and MW2 are kind of the same. Honestly, if this ever happens, I can already see myself getting mad because someone's running around with a SPAS-12 or the models and just shotgunning me like on a map like Vacant or something where it's just long hallways. And especially the SPAS, it had a crazy range. The models had crazy range before they were uh, nerfed. You know, when the game first came out, MW2, they had a crazy amount of ranges, like running around with sniper rifles almost. And I can just see myself getting frustrated, but at the same time, I would like that they were in the game just because those those would be guns that I would actually like to use. But really, while the community does have, um, we we are able to voice our opinion. We're totally open to do that. In reality, we can't really actually do anything to change the game. We can only, um, I don't know, give ideas and stuff like that. And we can just hope that Raven will take these ideas and possibly implement them them into the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and also leave your opinion down in the comment section below if you have seen this video, and just tell me what you think about the possibility possibility of adding a new gun such as the Intervention, um, ACR, and stuff like that. Tell me how you feel about that, tell me if you think it would change the way the game is played, or if it would still play the same, and whether you're a fan of it or not. I hope you guys have a great day and a great Christmas, and I'll see you guys in my next video.